Ahoy! Time in Paleo can be a little bit confusing because there are different ways in which time is measured and this is important for a variety of things in the game. So today I'd like to explain to you how time works for different aspects and what you need to pay attention to. First of all you have the in-game time at the top right. It's 5.30 a.m. right now so it's close to 6 a.m. here. 6 a.m. is when your crops grow. They will suddenly need water if they don't have water retention and they can be harvested so we'll get to that moment here very soon. And 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. which is the dial on the other side, the little uh, nudge in the sundial there, uh, is also when your storage bin gets sold. You can see the next shipment here is in zero minutes very very soon and then again six hours in-game time later. An in-game day, an entire day, day and night cycle, is one hour in real time. So an hour in-game is two and a half minutes in real time. It may sometimes feel shorter than that, but that's just because you can very easily sink a lot of time into this game. We also have those extra nudges there on the sundial itself. I'm not sure if these actually have any other purpose than indicating when it's actually night time and then you have those uh, dusk and dawn periods along with that. Here you can see we're hitting 6 a.m. right now. I didn't have anything in my storage bin. I'm going to show you a little clip of that though when something sells at that time. But all of my crops started growing here. Some of them are now done. Uh, some of them here will need water because they didn't have water retention. So everything basically happens when the day begins at 6 a.m. And then half an hour later, you have the second chance to sell things with a storage bin. And another half an hour later, the day is complete. But at the same time, not everything obeys this in-game time day cycle. So for example, if we look at the seed maker, these 23 minutes are actually real-time 23 minutes. Likewise, the preserves jar, you'd have the same thing. Any other task, worm farm here or any of the smelting stations, any of these crafters, uh, they all use real time. So this is not in-game time. And there are more things that use real time, which is not really clarified to you anywhere. If you enjoyed the video so far, then please consider subscribing and clicking the bell. I'd like to put timestamps into my video, but apparently that's only possible once you have 1000 subscribers now. So that's what I'm trying to get right now. If I press L and I go to the weekly ones of the different villages for the gifts, these are actually weekly. You can see here, the reset happens in six days, 11 hours right now. And this time it doesn't go down in in-game time. Uh, this is actually, I think, on Monday, at least in Australian time zone, this on Monday. So I'm assuming uh, it's probably early on Monday uh, for everyone else. And this is very important because obviously this means you have multiple days to fulfill this. But the gifting to the villagers also has a limit. So for example, you can see here that Oni has a gift request right now that I could fulfill. And what you saw before here was that there was an indicator that I could give him a gift. This is not possible right now because unfortunately I have server connection lost in this very moment because they're doing a restart. But this would have allowed us to gift him a present and this has a daily cooldown. I initially assumed this meant daily in-game cooldown because that would make sense with how most mechanics of this kind work. But it's actually a daily real-time cooldown. So you can only give villagers a gift once per real live day. This means that you can give them more gifts per week than they are requesting from you. So for example, going back to the weekly screen, this means you can give them more gifts per week than they may request from you. So they can request up to four gifts depending on relationship level. In the beginning, you won't reach the higher levels anyways. And on the other days, you can still give them other gifts because you can only give them the weekly gift once. And depending on which character you choose and what gift you give them, they may still appreciate that. For example, Einar will still take other items other than pebbles and he'll still take uh, rocks from you as well. If you give him something like a copper ore, he will still appreciate that to some degree and it will still increase the relationship. So that is something that you can do on the days when you're not giving them anything they specifically requested as a gift. This of course also gates your progression with relationships to some degree because you can't just spam gifts with every single in-game day but rather have to wait real days to progress all the relationships. And since the relationships are pretty crucial later on uh, to progress the storyline, uh, this is something worth keeping in mind. You want to use gifts as consistently, as frequently as possible 
so that you can improve the relationships as fast as possible. There's also a weird outlier to this whole system, and that is harvesting. Now, as I've already explained, harvesting itself works on the in-game timer. And at the same time, real time is still a factor in it. As I've already showed you, the refining stations keep working while you're offline. So for example, if you're pickling, that keeps going and that process will just finish when the hopper is empty. But that is not quite the case for gardening or harvesting. So if you have water retention, technically your plants should just keep growing while you're logged off. And they do to some degree, but not fully. So let's say you have two onions that you planted at different times. One is a day away from being ready, and the other one you just placed recently, so it'll need a couple of days. The first one that is a day away from being ready uh, will be ready when you log back in, because the game seems to complete a day and night cycle even after you log off. It seems that after that the plants pause their growth even if they have water retained. Otherwise, every time you log in a real-time day later, you should have a fully grown field, and that is not the case. I haven't figured out the exact number of cycles, it might be more than one cycle, maybe it's two, not sure about that. But either way, being logged in in real time seems to be a factor in how much your crops are growing. If you want to know more about harvesting, how exactly that works and how to optimize that in detail, then feel free to check out the video that I'll link right here. I hope this explains the whole clock system and timing system a little bit better. If you're interested in more Paleo videos, then please consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you get notified of the videos that are coming in the next days. I still have plenty of guides that will be coming out and also some other topics. For now, thank you for watching. Duke Sloth, out.